formal uh, two o'clock uh, reception to um, honor some very special people. Um, but the big honor uh, for this day has been uh, John Jesse Francis, who is one of the more celebrated artists to ever have uh, come and spent time in Memphis. And uh, his studio is down on the second floor of the Peak House. And uh, the family has just uh, returned from that site. It, it is a, a distinct honor to be able to point out to them and also for the rest of us the fact that, uh, as we know, that John Jesse Francis painted all these photos in Memphis, or in Prince, but to be able to take the family back to the exact site uh, where all this work uh, occurred is a, uh, a distinct honor. So we were down to uh, Peak House. And uh, our guests of honor today are um, uh, truly very special people, and uh, uh, they're kind, and they're uh, good-hearted, and they're terribly interested in the history of Medfield and the community that we have here. And so uh, our first guest is David Dalton Francis, who is the grandson of uh, John Jesse Francis. And um, Medfield, uh, for David and the rest of the family, is a brand new experience because until uh, sometime earlier this year, they never knew that A, Medfield existed, and then B, all the Francis paintings were done here in Medfield. Now, the two other guests uh, to David's uh, right, uh, your left, is Julie Francis, his daughter, and um, Julie's cousin and David's uh, nephew is Danny Francis. So. It is a very special time for us here in Medford to welcome you Thank as you. our guests uh, and to have this exhibition of John Jesse Francis's paintings. So, um, one of the things that we uh, wanted to do is, is to give you the first opportunity to say whatever you would like to do. And I know you've practiced uh, your words for a long time, but if you have something to say, uh, you are more than welcome. I'm totally amazed to tell you the truth. Uh, to see how much it actually was involved. But for some reason in my family, this talent was never passed down the, the pike. And uh, I regret that, but the... Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just overtaken by the, the, the amount of things that have been done and whatnot. It's just overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you guys all for being interested in this. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's enjoy it very much. Mm -hmm. Julie, you might like to add something? No, I mean, we are just extremely thrilled to be here. We appreciate everything that's been done. And it's just, as my dad was saying, overwhelmed. We're so thrilled to see all his different works because we've all had the pleasure of seeing what was passed down to us. We never really knew there was other <laughs> there was other items out there. So to me, it's just amazing. We're so thankful that Rob found this because we would not have known. So it's just amazing, and I've got we've got a family that has dictated to us to take photographs of everything, so we can take them through the entire experience that we're going through today. We just can't thank you enough. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. Danny, you want to get the I don't want to say any more. I need less. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody for the interest in JJ. And uh, all I knew as a kid was that uh, I had a great grandfather that smoked a pipe and drank spice wine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is all new to me and uh, kind of brought us together. Uh, you know, for, for what, what, what families left, we were never really family oriented. And, uh, and so this is kind of nice. And Julie and I focused on this quite a bit. And uh, it's just pumped up enough to drive and fly up here to see this and just appreciate everything. Thank you. Home for uh, David is Delaware. And home for Julie is Virginia, as is Virginia. For Danny, so they they made an effort to get here, and uh, we wanted to make sure that their time here uh, was well used and memorable. Uh, we did spend some time at the recently cleaned 
memorial for J.J. Francis and his family at Vine Lake Cemetery this morning. And uh, uh, the Francis family has adorned it now with some uh, terrific uh, flowers. Uh, its location is very easy to find at the lower entrance uh, to the old section uh, on Main Street. Uh, you turn right and you go in about 20 yards and you'll see a sparkling clean marble memorial with a number of flowers around it. And it says Francis on the top and then down the side of it is wife and babies. Uh, it for many years was unknown as to exactly who was buried in that particular lot. And uh, there are no records in town to show uh, the first names or any of that history. But with the research of vital records in both Newton and Wellesley, we were able to identify that J.J. Uh, Francis was buried there in 1933, at the time of his death, and his second wife uh, was buried there in 1955 when she died. Uh, there are two uh, very young children who's, uh, for whom there is not much documentation uh, buried in that lot, as well as his first wife, uh, Elizabeth, who died in, in 1894. Uh, so there are five people in that particular lot. Um, and uh, one of the treasures for the Francis family is to see its location as it faces out over Vine Lake and the surrounding section of the new section of the cemetery. So they're very pleased um, with that choice location that uh, JJ had um, in his wisdom back in 1894. Uh, so that is one aspect of commemoration that uh, we wish to um, uh, do today. The second uh, item of commemoration uh, will be uh, given by Ann Menser. Well, Father said pretty much everything that uh, we know about at the moment. There are two things that the members of the society have for a long time wanted to do an exhibit of the John J. Francis paintings, but it just had never happened until we got the phone call or got in contact with the grandson. We just had no idea this whole end of the family existed. We thought it was pretty much a dead issue. We had very little knowledge other than he had worked in Midfield and he had died in Newton. So then they, when we found out he was coming, we said, wonderful, we'll just combine everything with your trip and the show. So then we decided, well, wouldn't it be nice to take pictures of the pictures and present you with a collection of photographs? Well, John Menzer here, same last name, got busy, went and took photographs of all the paintings and the people's homes and put together this book, which we dedicated oh, to you. I'm just wondering where can the corner Well, he got a front page because he went to break Oh, this is John Jesse's signature mm -hmm. that came out of the book. And then, we, you're in here somewhere. Take something. Take something. This is the babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, very We're nice. We're just very nice. delighted that you were on the Thank you so very much. I'm amazed. Just can you read that page to us, David? Uh, huh? Can you read that page to us here? Dedication. This volume is given to David Dalton Francis at the reception held in his honor at the Dwight Derby House on the 11th of June, 2011, in Medfield, Massachusetts. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Now, there, uh, there are order forms here for other books, and the, the one thing about the, the book that you order, uh, it will have within it the uh, three additional paintings that were produced by the Francis family today. One, two, and three right behind George. Um, so it will be as up-to-date as it can, it will be as complete as it can. Um, one of the persons that you folks need to meet and we need to recognize because of her local talents and skills is Jean Minio, who's standing here so quietly in the corner. Jean was the director of the project that arranged all the paintings to be exhibited. And she just did such a phenomenal job putting all this together and looking at uh, how paintings uh, were similar and that they spoke to each other. So we do want to recognize Jean again. And 
a lovely dog. Um, say no. Um, you're welcome to uh, introduce yourself uh, to David and to Julie and to Danny. If you already haven't met them, uh, we'll be here for uh, a wee bit longer. Um, and at 3 o'clock, uh, the exhibit will start to disappear in front of you. <laughs> and,